Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about... <sighs> Why is it always gaming magazines? No, wait. More often than not, the gaming magazines who say something stupid. I was going to say always gaming magazines, but, or news outlets, or websites, but then I remember... There's BBC! There's CNN! There's woke garbage like MSNBC! And then I realized, yeah. Okay, fine. PC Gamer. Atomic Heart criticized for racist caricature. Caricature? Caricature? In one of its Soviet era cartoons. Some content in New Pagodi really shows its age. You're going to see why this thing is retarded. First and foremost, let me go right ahead and say fuck Soviet uh, Russia, fuck the Soviets, fuck communism, fuck socialism, and all its tendrils, like national socialism, fuck them, fuck fascism, fuck socialism, fuck Maoism, fuck John Xi or whatever how you pronounce that uh, retarded nonsense, fuck the CCP, fuck them all. Now, with that being said, and done, let's continue. The cartoon looks, oh, generally speaking, not too bad, considering it's the Soviet Union. If you see this stuff, is usually half-ass garbage out there, but the cartoon here, not too bad. In fact, it gives me uh, vibes from these... Uh, Old, very old uh, cartoons from America. Nonsense. Anyway, Atomic Heart is being criticized via Reset Era. Ow. So that's where it comes from. Why am I not surprised? Here, let me put it into perspective. Wait a moment. You'll see a very dirty. Portable porta porty. Porta potty. Yeah, there you go. A portable toilet. And it's under the sun. Of a. <laughs> over 100 Fahrenheit. Or. Consider it over 37 degrees or thereabouts. It's there. It's falling apart. And. It was the only porta porty on a taquito festival with bad vegetables and meat. And everyone had to shit. And they shot. And they shot a lot. Down porta porty is pretty much the representation of what the recent era is. It's the dirty, filthy porta porty that was under the sun. After a bad, bad, bad Takito Day festival. That's how garbage that website is. Let me put it even into a bigger perspective. Oh wait, I spit on my screen. That's unacceptable. There. Sorted. The moderators in there in recent era bans anyone that mentions Hogwarts Legacy or that plays Hogwarts Legacy and they actually cancel anyone who even dares play it. Yet, yet, their moderators are actually playing Hogwarts Legacy. That's how absolutely fucking hypocritical the left is. Right, continuing. Right, where was I? Oh, right. For the presence of a racist caricature in one of the Soviet cartoons that air in the game's Resident Evil style save rooms. Those rooms, which serve as a brief respite from the game's robo bash in combat, offer players a chance to kick back for a bit and watch old episodes of New Pagodi. Well, just you wait. Apparently, that's a translation. A beloved Soviet children's cartoon that first aired in 1969. But at least one of the episodes featured might be a bit too reminiscent of its era. I still don't see the problem. In fact, let me go and mention this paragraph, then I'm going to show you to you why I don't see a problem with it. 
Hey, maybe I'm a bigot. And I need lessons. Mm. Mm. Right. Who Pagodi is, in essence, a Soviet Tom and Jerry. Yeah, pretty much exactly what we saw with the MiG-25, MiG-31s, with the F-15s. Oh, the Space Shuttle? Hey, moving on. Starring an impeccably dressed Soviet disco wolf, Volk, as he tries and fails to get his hands on a mischievous hair, Zayat, who looks a bit of a... Um... Right, Atomic Heart is being criticized for a segment in episode 12, Museum, from 1978. In a quick flash on the screen, the pair of dicks cause a statue, a rep here is the good old fashion, fashioned far left propaganda. It's something that you expect from people who try uh, who tries to drive a narrative. Uh, racist depiction of Africa and tribesmen to fire the bow and arrow. It's holding. Setting off a Rube Goldberg style sequence of chaotic events that eventually deposits Volk in the sarcophagus of Ramses the Great. And you see the episode in question on YouTube. Content warning for racism. Why do you need to actually have a content warning? And it's not a racist. Let me go and show it to you. This is the image in question let me zoom in a bit more so you can see can you actually spot the racist in this i'm not seeing anything racist in this image in fact i don't see it at all as you all well aware and i'll know first and foremost let me drink this black goodness called the coffee hmm Thinking about it, I may be actually a bit racist. I love white chocolate, and I absolutely love my black coffee. All right. Anyway, look at the image in there. Yeah, I, I don't see it. As you know, African culture, pretty much even um back in the good old days of European. Pretty much when everyone was still a nomad, even in the Americans' uh, civilizations. Having a fancy dress like this, it's uh, normal. And, uh, oh, maybe they are complaining about the lips, but that's normal. They have big lips. I don't see that an issue. Unless they are so fucking racist. Well, I'm talking about the left that they see racism everywhere even in the depiction of black people in other cultures but let me put it this way monkfish i think that's uh monkfish or whoever something like that the developers you're pretty much reaping what your government have sown throughout the years yes russia yes russia did ferment the sjw culture that you see today but if you want a book, or something, or a content that doesn't have this nonsensical ball fucking shit, check out my book.
Well, let's keep on talking about the retarded nonsense, shall we? Don't forget to check out my book, please. Right, as you can see, the image here literally nothing racist, especially because... Look at this. This is African culture. Obviously, the cartoon is using a bit of a generic. Doesn't mean there's a specific tribe who dresses like those colors or anything like that, but... Uh, it's pretty much the expected culture and the stuff that you see. It's nothing beyond abnormal in this one. Only the left actually sees this, but let me go and um, uh, put it out. This is something that the Soviets have fermented. I watch Yuri Bezmenov. You're gonna see why. The Soviets actually prom promoted and... Uh, and funded these groups that we are now seeing the results of, and now we've seen the results of their work on the mid, well, early 2020s, or early 2000s. This is what they fermented in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Only now they're seeing the results, and, um, well, Rip what you have, goddamn fucking zone. Right, continuing. It's kind of thing like Dumbo or the Jungle Book that would get a uh, this program includes a negative depiction on our mistreatment of people or cultures. Once again, I think trigger warnings, content warning, and other warnings are kind of retarded. Pretty much what you expect from people who has no backbone, people who left who were victim of Russian propaganda. This is exactly what we're seeing. People like the idiots of PC Gamer are eating Russian propaganda and they are pretty much sucking the cock out of Russian propaganda. Why? Everything here is Russian propaganda. Not, not the game itself, I'm talking about the actual culture that caused them to think this is racist. This, once again, watch Yuri Bezmanov. He explains everything. Everything you're seeing here, their, their reaction, their words, comes from that. <sighs> right, continuing. I, I've reached out to Mount Fish and Focus Entertainment to ask if there are any plans to address the clip, and I'll update this piece if I hear back. Mount Fish might yet patch the game to deal with this issue. I hope they don't. But I wouldn't be surprised uh, if they do. Anyway, but I, sus I suspect it didn't even occur to the studio that it might be a problem during development. Lupakari is a treasured icon of the 20th century Soviet and Russian culture. Once again, you're reaping what you have goddamn fucking sown, Russia. Like uh, Cherubashka, it's a symbol of childhood that's near and dear to the hearts of millions of inhabitants of the former USSR, a fixture of museums of Soviet culture and even appeared in the Soviet post postage stamp in 1988 in Russia where a racist parody of Barack Obama appeared on the government from the TV as recently as 2020. The notion that anything problematic could be in a cartoon would likely sound bizarre. I sound biz it sounds bizarre you're even complaining about this, well, absolutely Goblin at sucking the Russian propaganda cock. But, like as usual, it rags like this. Comments and reactions to this thread are now closed. In other words, they actually closed this before anybody could actually comment and tell them, hey, go choke on a goddamn Soviet cock, you morons. There's nothing racist in this, but this is PC Gamer. Yeah. The mouthpiece to Soviet propaganda. Once again, watch Yuri Pezmenov. What you're seeing on the left today was in fact everything cooked up on Soviet Russia to, yes, to divide and conquer. A divided American society, a divided European society equals win for Russia, which they are now even using it. Just wait until you hear Putin actually parrot some of this stuff. Like, oh my god, we stand for, for families, we stand for traditional values. 
they are now trying to pander to certain elements on the right so the division can actually continue so those elements on the right says oh my god mm, america is now so far gone i'm now going to simp for russia you you see the problem here you can if you don't see it dude watch yuri desmanov on that goddamn fucking hell have a great fucking night.